Dan, you've just completed your first 90 minutes for the club. Clean sheet, victory, couldn't have asked for much more, could you? Yeah, it was great. Uh, great, obviously, to get the clean sheet and to get the win. Uh, conditions spoiled it for both teams. But, uh, yeah, just great to get a win and obviously three points on the board, a must win. It's been a few weeks since you've signed as well. How frustrating has it been waiting and waiting for that um, that first game? Well, obviously, Jack's came in. He's, uh, he's he's done a job. He's done well. He's played well, the lad. And uh, to be fair, you can't come in yourself and expect just to walk straight into a team. And uh, obviously, I've spoken to Con about things and he says, bide your time, bide your time. He's given us me chance a day. And I hope I haven't let anyone down. I hope I have taken me chance well. Clean sheet and some important saves, so definitely haven't let yourself down. Champion, ah, it's nice to know. Obviously, yeah, the clean sheet goes a long way, but more importantly, the three points. From your point of view, I know you're at the other end. Um, there was a few chances in that first half to go ahead. Was it a little bit disappointing to go in at the break goalless? It was, because uh, as Scott said in the change room there, he could have had three, maybe he's four, maybe four or five throughout the whole game. But uh, yeah, it was. It was certainly disappointing to go in and nil at the break, probably for both sides. What was said at half time with Mark um, to get a little bit more out of the lads because it was only eleven minutes after after half time into the second half that Scott um, put the lads ahead. It was obviously it wasn't a great first half. There was obviously still more to give. Just obviously get the ball down. Obviously the conditions were terrible for both uh, both sets of sides, and obviously just carry on playing the way you're playing, and things will come good. Is it fair to say the lads went into their shell a little bit in the in the final, say, 15, 20 minutes, um, given their position in the table, given um, what's happened this season? I wouldn't say they went into their shell. I thought we dropped a little bit deeper than what we did throughout the game. But I, I think, to be fair, when you're clinging on to a 1-0 victory and you're looking to get them three points, nerves do kick in. But, uh, yeah, all credit to the lads. We dug it out and we got the three points. Very nervous, 30 seconds towards the end of the game as well. You made two or three important saves. Um, just just talk me through that frantic moment. It's just a one of them. As a footballer, you know yourself, you throw your body on the line and you get your body in the way. You do anything as a goalkeeper to stop that ball going in the net. So it was just one of them. I've seen it, obviously the ball came across and their centre forward was going to pull the trigger. Just, just get your body in. The old Peter Schmeichel there. Uh, carry on. But uh, yeah, it was just great to keep the ball out the back of the net. And like I say, more so more importantly get a three points and when that additional time was over the referee blew his whistle how 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 relieved were you and the team to get those important three points uh, I wouldn't say a relief it was a, a yeah we well, well earned three points you know what I mean both teams dug it out but obviously we had the edge but uh, yeah just great to get the three points and obviously get in away from the conditions which obviously spoiled the game all day and against your former team too it was, which is also a bit as sweet, but uh, yeah, I'm here now, it's great to get three points.